to my Cyber kind of Academy. And this is Dr. Jing Chen, and uh, thank you for being here. And this particular piece is very popular among my students in high school, middle school, who want to compete for solo ensembles. The name is called Menuet uh, from the Regimental and by Mozart. So just a couple of things I'd love to share with you is technically uh, what to do musically, what can you do, okay? First of all, I think the, technically the trills is very difficult to play. For example, measure nine, be really really nice if you can play two trills and uh, if you can one is fine but be very uh, effective and uh, impressive you can play more than one so how do I practice that I put a metronome on I double the length of the trill that your fingers get used to how that runs and then become so if you be patient and really stretch the length of the trail when you practice that'd be great um, next and then let's go to the next page um, oh those 16 runs it's really hard so the required tempo is about 120 123 but sometimes you can go slower for me, I do slow practicing. I pick the pen tempo wherever I can, very slow, I can control everything and slur. For example, there, measure 39, I practice slur and then slow first. And after that, and then I, and then I add articulation. you feel comfortable and then gradually goes faster and faster you can start as slow as 60 and gradually get up to the tempo you feel comfortable but make sure don't play the speed you cannot play and uh, musically it has been very convincing about the technique how you do it and another technique I do is when you do fast tempo I do four plus one I still do slur Eventually become after that and then do articulation. Play the speed you can handle so that you won't have any stress, mental stress and physical stress. Feel comfortable before you try to speed up. Okay, so that's a big lesson is that we have to practice slow, practicing to make that happen. And musically, I feel like there's lots of cool stuff. I always associate musically with dynamics a lot of times. For example, the first theme is middle forte. Guess what? There's a couple places they have also indicates piano with the same, uh, with the same music figure. For example, uh, major 26, pick up to from major 25 to 26. Take the advantage of being able to play so soft on that instrument and challenge yourself and challenge audience to play like, oh my gosh, he can play really soft. If you can do that, that'd be so cool. So in other words, opening, don't play too soft. Don't give away what do you want to do later? And also, you have here lots of head pins here, right? Yes, and then for example, um, pick up to measure one, two, three, four, 14 bar. Always make sure you practice overdue with head pins, hair pins. 
and then we go play faster, keep the same way. That'd be so musical. And it's a very cute piece, and I hope you like it. At the same time, thanks to our pianist, Paul, it's our smart music, and that piece, have a smart music in case you don't have a pianist next to you, or don't have a piano at home, uh, or you don't, you cannot afford a pianist, this is a great way to practice with smart music. When you do smart music, you can slow down the tempo uh, manually on a computer, you can practice slow, get gradually getting faster, and also it's nice to have a piano score in the front of you too. So you not only have to be able to play your own part, but you have to know your piano part before you start to practice with smart music. Okay? So this is so much fun piece and I hope you can learn something today. And please come back to my Cyber Clarinet Academy soon and I will introduce more pieces uh, in this format and I hope you like it. Thank you very much. Thank you.